also want to, you know, there's going to be a lot that's going to happen at the very beginning of this game. This time. But I want to just mention that uh, Mr. E, this is possibly going to be one of the last tournaments he has around here. He recently got signed to a French sponsor. Going to be moving here. all the way out to France. So he's not going to have too many chances to win an Encore Monthly. I think this might be the last Encore Monthly that he's going to be around for. So there's quite a bit on the line for him. A statement to make. He's been a New York staple. He's taken Encores before. Can he do what one last time? Absolutely. We're already seeing Ontario's put on some damage. Not going to get that edge guard just entirely yet. It's very specific about how you have to actually have to go about playing a lot of these things. You have to be very careful with that F smash because you will get hit for your troubles. And you can never land on Amaryllis because what's going to happen? You're going to have Madama Butterfly come in, step her way in, and she's going to hit you with her fist. She didn't even hit with the fist. That was the wrist. Oh. That was the sour spot. It's still thing. here. <laughs> same we thing. had an entire discussion <laughs> about this. It's Don't the tell same me it's the same thing now. <laughs> but for sure, I'm really loving this damage that Amaris is going in because Woo! now he took <gasps> Mr. E right oh. back off stage and still at 108% on their first stop. What do you mean? Bayo is a good. She is absolutely bottom three. Trash, <laughs> bottom of the barrel, Bayos with no combo, no nothing, no no anything. He can't even kill. Okay. <laughs> Mr. E, if, nice reversal right there. That is one thing about this matchup, that if you overextend on a, a Lucina, specifically Mr. E's Lucina, he will absolutely kill you for it. He will up B you if your combo isn't tight. He will forward air you right out of your position. And so if you're Amaryllis, this isn't necessarily a thing, you know, just guaranteed in the bag. Uh, you still have to play well. You don't have to play amazing, but you have to play well enough that you don't just die to, like, silly things. And you know, here's the thing too, Amaryllis has been absolutely exceeding my expectations. A little bit of a fumble on that edge guard right there, but that back air is going to seal that first game. Amaryllis played that first game so wonderfully. There were so many situations he was sent off, or they were sent off stage. They jumped so that they can avoid the counter. They didn't want to die in that moment. They were being so meticulous with the way that they actually placed a lot of these back airs, these combo starter tools, with rarely ever using, you know, ABK to actually get a lot of the damage is something that I love because what Bayo does really well, especially in this matchup, is actually using um, the, the tools of Lucina to their advantage. Lucina has so many things, Dancing Blade, Nair, Fair, so many moves that will absolutely get you exploded for just even trying to use them. And that is exactly what we saw in that first game and exactly what we're seeing right now. Mr. E is looking like he's just a little bit struggling because he doesn't know what entirely to do about Amaryllis just comboing him and comboing, comboing. Well, um... Uh... But for sure, um, we have to talk about it because look at the way Amaryllis. <laughs> that, that was such good DI on Mr. E's part because if he DI'd in any any slower, he would have absolutely died. Right I will say that Mr. E's DI this game has been fantastic. The way he's SDIing, the way he's DIing out of combos, and that's why we're seeing him surviving at a hundred. Well, he was surviving. <laughs> Uh, but right there, I think that was actually a bit of a DI mix up because he put on the down throw, correct? Yes. So, uh, Mr. E not really able to react there. And somehow Emerald is dead. But never mind. <laughs> All right. This is a little bit what I mean by, you know, Bayo struggling, but especially when it comes to, like, Nair, or not Nair, um, ABK. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, and Amaryllis got their jump taken, and they are gonna lose that stock. But it's ooh, they was they was getting it. They they knew they knew, but it wasn't. It was just super, a little bit misplaced. So the thing is, I understand the thought process behind that of like, man, it sure would be great if this focus stock landed. But it's also something where Mr. E is dead anyway. <laughs> but like uh, at that point, Mr. E was kind of in a comfortable position where he wouldn't be scared enough to air dodge right 
And you know the thing adding to that too, this is something that I've been, you know, really implementing myself. A lot of other Bayos really don't do this. A lot of the time, Ooh. ending your combos a really early only to just F smash your opponent, especially at percents that they're looking to just mash and think that they can mash and that doesn't happen. That is why I'm such an advocate for Bayos ending their combos super early, but that mistech is going to end and Amaryllis losing that second game. Yeah, and I think one of the biggest parts to that game, which was game one, the disadvantage state from Mr. E. Not only was he DI'ing fantastically to survive to these really high percents, not only was his combo DI better so that he wasn't eating these crazy combos like he was before, but also when he was a disadvantage, he was turning around. Off stage, no, you can't just run out there and hit him for free. He has an upbeat that's a really scary. Mm -hmm. He has forward airs, back airs. So if you're Amaryllis, you're still probably going to do the cracks thing. But uh, maybe also, it's like crack with respect. Is that a thing? Crack Does with that respect? Exist? No, that's just you being freaking cracked out of your mind. And it looking really good. Looking very good. But we have to talk about this because the one thing that I'm pretty sure Lucina gets absolutely destroyed for is trying to edge guard Bayo because the normal thing you would expect from Bayo is to just ABK. And sometimes you can really read that, especially from Lucina. But Amaryllis just hasn't been mixing up the way that they actually get back to stage and just using all of their resources. But it doesn't even matter because they're already putting so much damage onto Mr. E. And that was a little bit of a mispunish on that Nair right there. But, yes? Oh, I was just going to say, that combo was amazing because the fact that Mr. E fell out of it and still somehow Amaryllis managed to put him back in the Yeah. You, you absolutely have to be on your game because a lot of the CQC situations that you actually have with Bayonetta can be super good. And I, you you know I love me some Bayo. I always be telling Auntie Relis about this. I tell them so many times that your CQC situations are what are going to net you stocks, those kills, those F smashes that, you know, Auntie Relis is known for so well. What was that F smash meant to cover? What, the, it was, um, I forgot what it was meant to cover, I'm going to be completely what, what, honest. What could it even have covered? Because, like, what would it have covered that F smash wouldn't have? Like, jump from ledge? When did they have jump from ledge? I don't know, just like, the risk reward of going for that up oh, smash yeah. felt very skewed. It was, um, it was a lapse in judgment, we can say. But, for sure, this is where we're going to see it. Stall, yes! Do the, do the circus, do the everything, and get grabbed, period. And this is kind of what we're going to see, you know, Auntie Rylus have to really think about how they get back to center stage because the thing with this is that Bayo can spend so much time. She, it does not matter how many times, you know, she can just be off stage. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. That is the second ST we've seen from Amaryllis this set. Um, but I do think that Amaryllis is starting to clean up the, you know, being trapped at the ledge play. Oh, your rest is being cleaned up. Oh, never mind. I genuinely thought that was going to take him all the way to the blast zone. But instead, it's just 105%. You know, not much, not much, not much. And you know another thing, too, is that um, I, I really feel like people have a very skewed understanding of how to actually to play Bayo. Situations like that are going to end in you losing your stock, but people really don't know that you don't just swing willy-nilly. Whenever you're actually getting out of Bayo's combos, you do have to choose a direction, but you also don't have to choose a panic option immediately after. And Amaris was gonna go for that fair train. Only had 36%, but it's something. What was that up be supposed to do? Excuse me? I like that escape option. We haven't really seen ABK as a I don't want to be juggled anymore tool, but it's definitely one. Mr. E can read it, but it's even then it's like a hard commitment for him to actually try and punch that sort of thing. Mm. Oh, okay. So Amaryllis has been reading these, you know, options, especially out of up throw. But, ooh. Just a little bit of misunderstanding of the combos right there. But very nice back air. Not going to end it just entirely yet. And this is where Mr. E is terrified. Mr. E is shaking in his boots because he's going to get hit right with that S smash again. How many times? Like four times. Four to three times that Amaryllis has tapped. Mr. E with that app smash. And you know what we're at Amarillo right now? It's the special, right? Amarillo, the well, it's the Amarillo special because of how much Amarillo uses it. But, like, it's the Amarillo special, if we're going to be completely honest, is the app smash from again. <laughs> what? No, absolutely. Uh, have you, if you've ever seen Amarillo try to app smash a normal getup, 
like nine out, times out, out of his normal getup? No, out of out of the opponent's normal getup. Oh, okay. I, I misunderstood. I thought you meant like it was like wake up DP, but instead it's a wake up forward smash. <laughs> wake up forward smash. Pow. But yes, we are going back to Smashville, and this stage is surprisingly really good. <laughs> Good adaptation from Mystery, knowing that forward smash was coming, anticipated it, got himself out of that really brutal combo. Right to another one, you know. Pick your poison. You and get to choose how you're gonna take 90% or 70. Ooh. Choose it, choose it wisely, sweetie. Hello. Very nice, calling out that ledge option, and that is gonna send Amos right back onto the side, but Amaryllis is trying to absolutely destroy Mr. E. I'd be telling Amaryllis that this is such a good matchup, and they're trying to prove it for me right here. Prove it for me, sweetie. And, ooh, they, this is also another thing too. Uh, again, we pointed it out a little bit ago with Mr. E and PK Chris. Mr. E will turn around knowing that Amaryllis is gonna ABK and fair, but it doesn't even matter because Mr. E is just gonna die. Well, I mean, you know, maybe, maybe he evens I it up, but that fact that Amaryllis took that stock for first is huge mm -hmm. because now he doesn't have to take a stock from Mr. E while playing down from behind. Because Mr. Mm -hmm. E, maybe not known to playing to leads like other other players in New York, but he can certainly do it, especially if he's by now he is respecting what Amaryllis can do. He has been learning the habits and and if you know how your opponent wants to kill you, that's the exact position where all of the data you have really comes to bear fruit. Absolutely, and we're just seeing combos trade and fly through the screen. And that F match is going to end in Amaryllis losing their second, I mean, the, yeah, their second stock. And here's the kind of thing here, you have to, have to. We've seen it a little bit ago from Amaryllis being very careful about how they actually get off of ledge but Mr. E was just absolutely ready for it. And people don't know about the mix Bayo has. Bayo has so much mix, especially, you know, like, at ledge. What? They know! They know! I'm telling you, they know! They know! Bro, they know! Hello? Oh my god. Anyways, but we have to get back to this game because it's looking like the attributes of the small stage, and not only that, the fact that... Amaryllis just wants Mr. E to have this stock gone. Is just struggling because they can't get off state. I mean, off ledge. They can't really get back to some comfortable position to allow them to take off a stock from Mr. E. And that is not gonna do it just entirely yet. And ooh, very nice mix up on that recovery right there. And I really would love to show why this is a really good stage for Bayo, but. This is a, a downside of the actual stage of Smashville and FD to that added effect, not being able to get off stage. Yeah. Alright, take it to game five. <sighs> Let's get it. I'm gonna take it to game, game five. five. Why, why I can't, I can't hype up nobody. That's my auntie rivalist right there. That's my brother. You have a game oh. five to hype him up. Come on. A uh, game five. With the amount of times they SD'd, they could have, like, just had one game done. Yeah, I do think that now when we get to game five, it's really important that Amaryllis took the, uh, sort of has panoramic advantage here because I do think that that stage smash felt really good for Mr. P. As opposed to, like, as we saw PS2 earlier, he was able to land so much easier. And this is another stage where not only is it long, but also the platform layouts could be really helpful for Amaryllis to, um, be really helpful for him to uh, make it back down to stage. And the smaller blast zones on the side mean some of those silly little Bayo combos are going to end in death. Absolutely. And I really love the way that Amaryllis is choosing to go about these combos, just mainly using the things that they know that they can get, especially out of shield, going for grab, not really trying to put themselves in a bad position. Thinking about a lot of the ways that you can actually use your Ooh. combos is the most important oh. thing about Bayo. And... So Sorry, but not only to that added effect, like, people really don't understand, like, when it comes to Bayo, she can just be put in so many situations where she doesn't have to overshoot, and that's exactly what Amaryllis did there, getting punished for overshooting with that back air. It looked like it was gonna hit, but no, and this is what we're gonna see, Amaryllis slowly losing the, the, the feel that they had for this matchup, slowly just drifting away, and ooh. Yeah, and I know that it is worth... Oh my god, that's massive! That's huge right now. Uh, Amaryllis, 
I know that he's gotten second at quite a few on Encore. Kind of had a bit of an issue with being a bridesmaid. And hopefully that this doesn't actually happen for him once more because Mr. E is poised to just move on into Grand Finals as long as he can close out this game, which it's looking like he wants to be doing. This damage is coming out consistent. Boy. Well, oh wait, I just noticed that this year has three shots. Still. Oh wow. Yes. Well, well. Oh. Oh. And he still has three stocks. Oh man, that that first stock, the phone smash, just that made such a huge difference.